What's up YouTube, Mike here from Techno GI, and today I wanted to do part three of my video series for seven awesome apps for doing video editing on the iPad Pro. So if you've missed my first two, go ahead and subscribe. You can check them out on my channel. But today I want to focus on a app called Videorama, or Videorama, depends on how you pronounce it. But again, this is more of a polishing app. As I mentioned before, I like to do most of my editing in iMovie for iOS. Then I'll move to Splice if I want to add some background music. And then now I'm moving to Videorama. And what I use this for is doing um, various special effects. So if I want to add any kind of sound effects or special effects like fire, um, you name it, um, then I go to Videorama. So I apologize in advance for the video quality of it. Um, unfortunately, the one thing that I hate about the app Videorama is it only opens up in portrait mode. So if you've got an iPad, you go to landscape, it won't work. So when I did the screen capture, it's only in portrait mode. So you're going to see black bars on either side of the video as you're watching it. So um, if you're on a phone, it's probably going to be hard to see. But if you're on a tablet or a computer, you should be able to see it. But again, as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And like I said, this is going to be a demo not a tutorial, so I'm just kind of showing you some of the features of Videorama so you'll be able to determine if you want to try this app out. So I believe this, again, was a free app, but if you want to uh, remove the watermark, I think it's like $1.99. But anyways, you could always try it. Uh, like I said, it's free. If you like it, pay the extra money to get rid of the watermark. But uh, let's take a closer look at this thing. Up up here. And one thing that I already do not like about this app is that it only goes into uh, portrait mode. It will not allow for landscape, which makes absolutely no sense to me. But uh, when you open it up, this is what you get. Um, let me see if I can open up an existing project so I can start to demo this to you guys. But again, this is going to be uh, part uh, three of my seven-part series. So, like I said, if you want to catch... Uh, the rest of this, or I say the four more that I'm going to do, again, feel free to subscribe. But let's get into this. So this is a project uh, I've obviously already started working on, but I kind of wanted to show you what I use this app for. So just like uh, Splice that I showed you before, this is more of a polishing app and more of a fun app. So this is an app where if you want to add special effects to your videos and things of that nature, it's perfect for that. Uh, for instance, um, you can see i got FX here. And this is just a demo, so if you look at the top here, here's your timeline and you scrub with your finger. And uh, where it says FX is where I drop the effect in. And for here, this is just for demo purposes. I dropped fire in there and I'll show you when I hit play. All right, sound sinking. Three, so there you go. Two, one. We'll pause that. But again, this is what I use it for, is just to add various special effects. And uh, we'll start from the bottom where you see shop. And again, this is a free app. Um, however, it comes with basic uh, text, video, and sound, and so forth. And if you want more, then you can pay a couple bucks and you can add more um, effects and filters. But let's see, just to go from the bottom for the demo, here's uh, text, same thing. You can type what you want. Let me bring up my keyboard. So just like uh, with Splice, you know, this could be a good polishing app if you want to add different stuff and you can resize it and you can turn it so uh, I like this and there's a decent amount of fonts as you can see and you can always purchase more but um, it does, right here where it says get more fonts you can click on that and it's basically going to ask you if you want to buy more essentially so I'll show you get more fonts and there you go you got you know different ones you can get but said, like I said, this is a free app. However, if you want to expand the features, and then they charge you for it, but which is not, you know, not a bad thing at all. So I definitely want to support the developer. But uh, there you go. There's the uh, text. So we'll hit done, and uh, it's got the duration, basically how long you want the text to be, and you slide that uh, with your finger, and then we'll hit done, and then as you can see. There it is, and it's going to stay up there right, for whatever the duration is that you selected. So in this case, it was seven seconds. And a cool thing is you can always move it. So if I go to the top of my timeline here, I press and hold text, 
it lets me slide it throughout this. So this one, I, I really do like the interface. Um, so probably other than iMovie for iOS, this is one of my favorite apps to work with just because it's more intuitive. Like I said, the only complaint I have is it's portrait mode as opposed to landscape. So I've got the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it just seems like a waste to not do it in landscape. So moving on, I'll show you the video FX. And again, um, a you, cool thing is you can download all these, um, but if not, obviously you have to have an internet connection. But the ones I played with, these are the ones that come included as the starter. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few of them. I've been using the fire one, but you got sparks, blood splatter, and um, then you can go to explosions, and you can get all these. So there's so many to choose from. And uh, let's just try this one, just because I was curious. Grenade explosion. I just want to see what it looks like. So like I said, I've only played with this app a little bit. It's got a ton of potential. So like I said, other than iMovie, this is probably my favorite video editing app. But again, I still prefer doing the, the major edit in iMovie as far as I'll get the size of the clip set and the general one built. And there it shows you a little preview. And um, then I'll move it to Splice. I'll add background music if I want. And then if I want to get really creative, this is what I'll do. And bam, so that's what it looks like. And then you got magic spells. So you've got a lot of different effects to choose from. And they actually look really good. So like I said, I already showed you the fire. I'll show you another one. Um, here's blood splatter. And uh, as you can see, you can drag it wherever you want. So we'll set it there. And you can also resize the size of it. So I'll just show you what blood splatter looks like. And uh, you can set the exposure, how bright you want it to be. We'll leave it in the middle. Hit done. We'll hit play. Two. One. Bam. And there's your blood splatter. So it's actually a really fun app. I mean, you can get really creative with this. As far as doing like a what I do, kind of, you know, technology reviews, tutorials, um, so a lot of those probably won't really fit in per se. But if you just want to have fun, make some silly videos, Videorama is definitely the way to go. So there's the video FX part, and then I'll show you the sound effects. Again, it comes with quite a few for the starter, and you just have to download these. Um, then you hit add. I think I might have downloaded them all. We'll see. But uh, for instance, uh, you know, if you want to add a little audience cheer, pretty good. But you can add again all these to your videos. Cinematic boom. There's another good one. Here's the old transformer thing. Um, and you name it. Uh, if you want to do a fart, there you go. So, I mean, it's it's really limited by your imagination. There are so many things included in this. Here's a good one. So, <clears throat> as you can see, there is a lot. And this is just the starter one. And uh, this one comes, again, free with the app. And I can't remember if this app had a watermark and I paid like a dollar to get rid of it, to be honest with you. Um, just because I've had it for a little while, but I know you can get this for free, whether it has a watermark or not, I honestly can't speak on. I think it's free just because they're hoping that you'll buy the extra effects. And then this one has audio, just like um, Splice does, just doesn't have quite as many. And here's the ones it comes with, and then you can add all these. Uh, see how it's got the little lock symbol? It means you can pay for it. Or you can use your iTunes library. But um, it'll still give you a preview so if you know you want to buy it so we'll pick the chase and it gives you a little preview so it kind of adds like a cinematic uh, sound to your video so depending on what kind of videos you're shooting if you want to kind of do you know like mini movies with your camera this app is actually a pretty good um, polishing app to add those sound effects so like I said I really can't say enough good things about this app like I said the only issue I hate is on the iPad Pro I've got to be in portrait and then you can go to your overlays and these are just different overlays you can throw in. So you can see I applied that, and you can adjust the uh, opacity of it. Uh, here's one that's easier to see. And obviously, you got to have an internet connection for a lot of these for it to download, unless you've already used it. And then I think it does save it. So I would download one that's a little brighter just so you can see what it looks like. And uh, Again, I'm in Afghanistan, so my internet is still kind of crappy. But... Um, it's almost done there, and I'll show you the last overlay, but you get the point. So there you go. You can see um, it's got the embers in it, and this will be out throughout the entire video. 
And again, I can make it brighter. You've got a lot of choices, as you can see, and if you want to get more overlays, you can buy more overlays. So it's kind of cool if you want to go old school transmission. Last one I'll show you. I said I was that was going to be the last one, but um, like I said, this is a really fun app. I mean, this is one you can just have a lot of fun with. If you're bored and you just want to make a really silly video, or if you actually want to make kind of a, a serious uh, short movie, uh, like an independent filmmaker type thing, it's got some kind of neat, uh, special effects and especially the sounds and it does a really good job and you're able this will actually be able to work with 4k video however it only it only exports in uh, 1080p see there you go there's a cool little effect but uh, let's see I'll, yeah you can share this all the way up to 1080p but it will work with 4k video so if you've got raw 4k footage that you import from your camera this app will run it However, when you export it, it'll only do 1080p. Um, and again, it gives you the option to save to your gallery or post it in various um, things. And you can even do it straight to YouTube from here if you hit other. Uh, it's going to save the video. I'll hit cancel. But anyways, it's there. Trust me. If you hit other, it gives you the option to uh, load it up with YouTube. So really, really good app. Um, can't say enough things about it, especially because of the price. Um, so no issues with this app. However, like I said... For just the general movie making, I prefer iMovie. Like I said, this is like I said, this is my polishing app. So after I create it in iMovie, I bring it into here if I want to do something fancy. So as always, that was part three. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that app. Really good app. I definitely recommend that you just check it out and play with it. And if you um, have any questions, comments, please leave it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.